Finally, now our last inductee for this year will recognize Jermaine Taylor, a two-sport athlete and All-American in both football and track. Jermaine? Jermaine was one of the top players in the nation during Bridgewater's rise in the early 2000s. During his career, he never missed a game, starting all 52, in which the Eagles posted a record of 46 and 6. As a freshman, Jermaine started at linebacker on the first football team in program history to earn a trip to the NCAA playoffs. In 2001, he helped lead the Eagles to their first ODAC title since 1980 and a trip to the Stag Bowl, the Division III National Championship game. During his time on the field, Bridgewater claimed ODAC titles in addition to 01 and 02 and 03, with the 03 team reaching the Division III semifinals. As a junior, Jermaine was the ODAC Player of the Year and an American Football Coaches Association first team All-American pick. He received All-American recognition on four other teams, including a third team nod on the Associated Press Little All-America team that featured players from D2, D3, and NAIA. Following his senior year, Jermaine was a consensus D3 first team All-American. In 2011, D3Football.com named him to its All-Decade first team. Jermaine was also a standout athlete on the track, earning four ODAC individual titles in the sprints. He earned All-American honors at the NCAA Outdoor Championship meet in the 100 meters and in the indoor 55 meters. Following graduation, Jermaine earned NFL camp invitations from the Green Bay Packers and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He also started at linebacker for the Berlin Thunder in NFL Europe during the 2005 season. After his football career, Jermaine moved to the private sector, joining Raymond James Financial, where he still works as a system engineer. In recognition of his All-American achievements in both football and track, Jermaine Taylor is a worthy inductee into the College Athletic Hall of Fame. And so it's now my pleasure to officially induct Jermaine Taylor, class of 2004, into the Bridgewater College Athletics Hall of Fame. Fellas, we're here. <laughs> um, most of you guys know this about me, but <clears throat> track and field was not one of my favorite sports. In fact, Coach um, Stevens spent most of my freshman year trying to recruit me to come out and run track. See, I was a football player to the core. I used my speed and my God-given abilities to run down that ball carrier, and sometimes bodily make an attack before he gets that first down, and better yet, that touchdown. See, I, I just couldn't wrap my mind around training to run past someone. You know, it's kind of weird to me. I'm glad to say that I'm glad that he um, persuaded me to run track because. That's my very first race, which I got third place. Track quickly became my second favorite sport. I'm glad to stand here today to truly, just truly honored to humbly accept this induction to the Bridgewater College Athletic Hall of Fame. This accomplishment was not an individual effort by far. And a lot of my former teammates, coaches, trainers, friends, family are here to prove that. I am truly blessed to be surrounded by remarkable people who have poured into my life, especially my time here. As I look around this room, like I said, I see a lot of familiar faces that did that. Another fun fact, I actually tried to walk away from football twice. Um, my mom stopped me my first time in high school when I thought that I could come back my senior year, and I skipped my junior year and come back my senior year. And um, the second time was here on um, Bowman Steps, when Trevor Jones sat with me and basically consulted me and reassured me that, you know, I can actually do this. And that's just an example of people who poured into me and the effort that it took for me to get to where I am today. In my corner, I had parents that gave me unconditional love, grace, showed patience, especially my dad who is still my hero to this day. They sacrificed so I could have this college experience and be here today. The girlfriend who is now my wife, <laughs> for endless support filled with encouragement, and yes, sometimes coaching tips. She tried to give me coaching tips after every game. <laughs> 
teachers and coaches for the mentorship, wisdom, the dedication that they have to develop students before the athletes. I had loyal and faithful friends. And most importantly, my teammates on the track and on the field. This is because of you who I'm here today. This is a proud moment for me to, to represent the hard work and achievements we had. And we had a whole lot of achievements. In closing, my number was, uh, my jersey number in the field was number 99. Never knew why Coach Spencer gave me number 99. I think it was probably because Jason Taylor for the Miami Dolphins at the time were number 99, so I guess it's only fitting that Jermaine Taylor for the Bridgewater Eagles were in number 99. That number meant a lot to me throughout the years, but today it represents something different. Today that number represents all my former teammates that wore the numbers 1 through 98 that were an intricate part in my success here at Bridgewater as a student athlete. Today would not be possible without them. And so I am thankful for each and every single one of you and the coaches for holding me up. As Coach Clark would say after each victory, we all would stand and get a star and he would say to us, we all get one for the win. Today, we got one for the win. Thank you, guys.